She's enjoyed the good life. Thank you so much as Sniggers. I'm going straight back indoors. She's been to the manor born. Now, another significant recognition for Penelope Keith. She becomes a dame for services to the arts and to charity. Well, it makes me feel very excited, delighted, um, thrilled and, I suppose, humbled. It's a, I feel it's a recognition not only for my 54 years being an actress, which is extraordinary when I say it out loud, um, but also for all the charities with which I'm associated and I think they'll be thrilled. And of course, Audrey and Margot would both be delighted with an honour like this, wouldn't they? Chuffed. But they think it was their due, I think. Also becoming a dame, actress Angela Lansbury for services to drama. I guess I've always been a dame and uh, it's, a, it's a lovely thing to be recognised and uh, given that nod of approval by your own country and I really cherish it. And award-winning sculptor Anthony Gormley, the man behind the Angel of the North, receives a knighthood. The knighthood is a strange old-fashioned thing. The important thing for me is that a contemporary artist making work that isn't always so easy can be recognised and hopefully this will encourage people to look. Marcus Setchell, the doctor who oversaw the birth of Prince George, wonderful, wonderful baby. also becomes a knight. Can you now talk for just a minute on one minute? From Starting the world of entertainment, now. just a minute host Nicholas Parsons becomes a CBE. <laughs> As does Michael Crawford. It's very, very difficult to keep it secret because you are so thrilled and honoured about it. And I couldn't tell my grandchildren, who I particularly have a desire to impress. <laughs> Ruth Jones played the enigmatic Nessa in Gavin and Stacey. I just can't believe this, Stace. This in gets me pregnant. Not Nigel Havers, not John Plaskoff, not any of Goldie-looking chain. She also co-created the series. She's been appointed MBE. I'm genuinely complimented, very shocked. Nessa wouldn't be impressed at all. Nessa would say, uh, oh, Ruth, what's the big deal? So you're getting an MBE? I've got seven, plus an OBE, a CBE, and a knighthood. She's an incredibly bright young woman. Businesswoman Karen Brady becomes a CBE, the services to entrepreneurship and women in business. I felt very privileged and very proud, particularly to be recognised for the work that I've done for other women in business, um, which is something I campaign for all of the time. So to be recognised for that was, was incredible. After their son Jimmy was murdered in 2008, Barry and Margaret Mizzen set up the Jimmy Mizzen Foundation to help young people play a positive role within their communities. They both become MBEs. It's not about us uh, as such, it's about a family it's about all the people that have supported us and continue to support us in such a great way. And we will never give up doing the work that we do, and that is working for peace for our beautiful young people, because they are so precious. And they're like most of the names on this year's list, people not in the public eye, but who've made a significant contribution to their community. Lizo Mazimba, BBC News.